guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. This is the second part to that video on X-ray machines. Um, when you're looking in the National Electric Code book, because uh, the year is 2015 right now, but this is the 2014 edition. Uh, you go in the back of the index here, just look up X-ray. Uh, article 517. Which is going to get us underneath healthcare facilities. It does talk about X-ray machines right in here. It uh, talks about it in um, 517, I believe it's 9 here. And it talks about if it's a long time rating at 5 minutes or longer, or it's momentary to disconnect before 5 seconds. Uh, that is pretty critically huge to know that when you're trying to wire that, um, because Article 660 um, also talks about x-rays. And they basically say, I believe it's a 100... Let me look that up real quick. 125% of that circuit that you have to be rated at. So there's two code articles you're looking in, not just one. Um, yeah, so it'll talk about it in 660.2 and 660.3. Um, your connections, disconnecting means, and your overcurrent. So it'd be 50%. So the ampacity supplying the branch circuit inductors overcurrent protective devices shall not be less than 50% of the momentary rating of 100% of long time rating, whichever is greater. Um, so basically how that was explained to me um, by the city, because it's considered a branch circuit there, it could be a feeder conductor as well, um, is that you have to uh, operate that conductor size wire if it's going to be longer than five seconds because it's considered long term. Um, but this machine that we wired in here was a definitely short term. Um, the thing that I'm finding a lot of issues with is people get these things used and then they don't have any manuals or any explanation on it. So if you're going to be trying to get that wired for the first time into your office and you don't have any manual on it, um, you may not want to consider buying that machine yet uh, because if they can't supply a manual, then the city's not going to approve that machine. Even if you bought it and you brought it in and you wired up according to what we thought was code for the electrician as well as the engineer, any manuals on those x-ray machines they will not approve it without it so you might want to think twice before you go and buy that machine all right thanks guys